Olá! Gente, welcome to another episode of Olha Lá, the Portuguese phrase which means check this out. Eu sou Orlando. E eu sou Andreana. Você é a apresentadora, não é? E você é o apresentador e fotógrafo. E fotógrafo, because I'm the one that took these pictures today, as a matter of fact. This is going to be a fun episode. We are talking about pictures that I took in Salvador. It's going to be referring to the word happy, laughing, smiling, não é? Sim. So, uh, this picture, I took it in the shopping center in Salvador. It is a store that sells toys. Mm -hmm. A right? toy store. It's a toy store. And the name of it is? He Happy. He Happy. And so that's one of the questions I want to ask about it is, what, where in the world did this store get that name, He Happy, as a toy store? Bom, eu acho que tem vários motivos, dois pelo menos, né? Um pelo verbo rir e o outro pelo nome do dono, Ricardo. Right, so the owner of the store is a guy named Ricardo. So it could be that He Happy refers to Ricardo's store, which makes everybody feel happy. It's pretty crazy. Mm -hmm. The other one is the word he comes from the verb to laugh. Hir. In fact, we probably just ought to plain old conjugate the people. How do you say I laugh? Eu ri o. Eu rio. Eu rio. Você riu. Quer dizer, isso é passado, né? Você ri. Você ri. Nós rimos. Eles Hien. So it's a pretty weird verb. He, he, he mus, he mm -hmm. right? And in the past tense, it's totally normal. You just say he, he, he mus, he mm -hmm. uh, But it, it means to laugh. But my sense is that Brazilians don't actually use this verb a lot. Right? É, na realidade, a gente usa presente e passado com o verbo rir, mas quando é futuro, a gente usa o verbo dar, dar risada. Right, and so dar risada would be to give a smile. Mm -hmm. And so rather than saying ele ri, you might say ele dá risada. Isso, no presente. É, mm -hmm. interessante. Não é? And, and then also the pronunciation here, the name of this store, how would you pronounce it as a Brazilian? He happy. He happy. And so notice you take the word happy in English, which is a, a, mm -hmm. and now we have a he, 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 he happy mm -hmm. is the pronunciation for it. It's actually pretty crazy. So while we're talking about the verb here, can you kind of help us understand the difference of here and so here? Porque tem dois verbos, não é? Sim. Qual é a diferença? Rir requer um som. E sorrir não requer nada, só um movimento dos seus lábios. That's actually true, huh? Here you make an audible sound. Sim. So here you might just change the shape of your mouth, but no actual audible sound. You're a genius. <laughs> no. <laughs> here, so here. Hmm? And so, again, uh, so here is conjugated the same way. So how do you say, for example, I smile? Eu sorrio. Eu sorrio. So you have the verb here, eu rio, and to smile is sorrio. Eu sorrio. Wow. Can you give me a few more examples with this da risada type S of phrase? Sim, a gente tem uh, vários tipos de risada né, que uh -huh. a gente pode dar. A gente pode dar uma risada normal, dar uh -huh. risada, dar uma risada nervosa. You know, in English you talk about nervous laughter, é a mesma coisa. E uma risada forçada ou falsa, de yeah, outro like tipo. Yeah, fake laugh, pode ser também. Isso, mas... A gente tem alguns exemplos aqui. Eu dei muita risada com o filme Minha Mãe é uma Pesta no passado. Eu dei muita risada. Yeah, eu dei muita risada. I laughed a lot at that. Or e a gente tem uma this. outra frase ali no passado também, com a risada nervosa, né? Yeah. Ele deu uma risada nervosa com o comentário que a avó dele fez. So he had this little nervous laughter that he made because of the comments that were made. Yeah. Yeah. Ficou sem graça, ele ficou sem graça. So it's really clever here because Brazilians like to use English words. It sounds cool. But notice the pronunciation is pretty unpredictable. Mm -hmm. How are we going to know that this is going to be happy and not happy, for mm, example. Exactly. But every Brazilian will say he happy. Nobody will say he happy. Talvez, yeah. a gente não sabe yeah. também, né? This one comes out he happy. So now we have our second photograph. This is a picture of a clinic, a medical clinic that is in town. They're all over town. And when I first saw this, I thought, this is the most clever name for a clinic in the world. How would you say that? Happy vida. Happy vida. Happy vida. And so you have the word happy, which comes from the English happy, and then you have the word vida, which means life. This is a great name for a clinic. Com certeza. Happy life. Mm -hmm. But notice again, we've borrowed from English. 
happy. And Brazilians, I've heard them say in both ways. Some will say happy vida, some will say happy vida. Com H mudo, né? Without, with or without the H. But either way, notice you don't need to spell it H-A-P-P-Y because Brazilians already put the E. Exato. Yeah. É como advogado. Advogado, pingi pongi, piquinique, kingi kongi. All those words where Brazilians add a little E to things. Ketchupi. A Brazilian can't put a P and a V together, those two consonants. Mm -hmm. So it comes out api, api vida. Happy vida. Mm -hmm. yeah. So just a beautiful example of that. But we've seen now two really fun examples of a phrase using the word happy with a different meaning and a different pronunciation, but both showing that Brazilians love to use English words for this kind of thing. And so with that, there probably should be a good, like, ditado that you can give us about the word happy or laughing or something, right? É, o verbo rir tem esse ditado. Rir é o melhor remédio, que nós brasileiros usamos muito, né? And we actually in English have the same phrase. Laughter is the best medicine. Rir é o melhor remédio. Well, with that, we've had a really fun lesson today on looking at the word he happy and happy vida, both great examples of the pronunciation and the use of the word happy. Of course, since this is on YouTube, what we're really hoping is that everybody subscribes to this because we're going to have a whole bunch of lessons just like this and keep on listening to us. And click that little button that says you liked it because the more you like it and the more you subscribe, the more other people find this site as well. And with that, até a próxima. Até mais, tchau, tchau. Olha lá.